Hey Foreverlies, it is just Maddie in this video right now. Everly's in it later. I'm actually hopping in after this has been filmed. My voice is gone right now. I went to a concert over the weekend. It was amazing, like literally one of the best experiences of, of my life. Um, it was Green Day, Fall Out Boy, and Weezer. My boyfriend and his mom took me and it was amazing. And I'm so thankful because it was one of the coolest things ever. Basically, um, this video was supposed to be one video but it was two different subjects, so I ended up splitting it into two different videos. Some of the filming is from the same day that I filmed another video, my last video, I believe, but I decided to split it into two so I could kind of like not have one 30 minute vlog and just have two 15 minute vlogs. But yeah, welcome to the video. We are car shopping in this video. I hope y'all enjoy it and I'll, I'll go away now. Bring me water. I just got that on my vlog. I just started it and... Uh -oh. Hi guys, I'm back. Everly is out at her dad's house right now. And I am not in my car. I'm in a Jeep, but it's not my Jeep. This is Randy's Jeep. Gross, Maddie. That was really cute. It was gross. That came out of my butt. You stink as it is. No, I saw you put on deodorant. Oh, if I didn't, it'd be a whole different story. We just got to a car dealership. Randy decided he would take me because, um, Maddie have no car. Maddie make Randy drive. Everywhere. Um, <laughs> dirt cheap and Target and... More dirt cheap. And Walmart. And Randy not like go places, so... We are about to go out and look at this place. And I'm really tired right now. Like insanely tired. I was gonna like have a productive vlog, but I need a car. So I feel like that's productive. Right. How is that not productive? <laughs> We're gonna get out and look, they have some used cars and they have all kinds of cars. And I'm gonna see, they have a lifted G-Wagon with a light bar. I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna get something cheap and realistic, <laughs> but I'm gonna go look at it and possibly test drive it. No, because if you crash that thing. Do you really think I'm that bad of a driver? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, well, we're going to go in there. This is a car shopping vlog. I'm sorry, I called the GMC Agums. Can you please get out now? Hey, Maddie. Hmm? A recommendation is vlog while we're looking and don't just next cut be. All right, we, we shopped. You can vlog. You wanna vlog? Mm, yeah. Wait, turn back this way. What did I say? It says Maddie. That's my name. You misspelled it. No, I didn't. No. G Wagon. Oh my god, look. For when you're mean. What? If you're mean, look at that. It's a shovel. That's a big sport. <laughs> this thing is really cool. Like, extremely cool. Wow. Hey, look. Look. It's zero dollars. I don't know why it says zero. What? Get this one. AMG. Oh my gosh. It's zero dollars. It's, mm. it's two hundred thousand dollars. Yes, it is. It's on their website. This one? Yep. Ah, it's it's Yeah, probably. And he says I don't okay. vlog, so vlog him. He's gonna take a video of me car shopping, and it's gonna be really great. You have to do it sideways. Really? Oh. There's no point in vlogging for me if you just make footage I'm not gonna put in. Why would you put this in? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna zooming. give somebody a seizure. I'm pop zooming. Oh, crap. I messed it up. The test luck. Okay, no more pop zooming. Oh my gosh, <laughs> if you were a tire, that's what you would look like. <laughs> look, uh, if you were a tire. Yeah, come on, come on. <gasps> if you were a car. <laughs> You'd be the smart car. That's literally should not be legal. That's what you look like as a tire. It's like the same thing, but a it's little It's the bit. exact same thing. Okay, <laughs> you have to hold the camera still to block. Like literally be a gimbal. Like on the tire. 
The pokey ones? Yeah. Not the truck? Well, duh, all I have is the 2021s out here. Oh, you wanted to get a Tahoe? <laughs> Look at this Tahoe. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Oh my gosh. Look at this squat, dude. <laughs> You're going to need a ladder. Imagine me trying to get in this. Dude, you can literally run over everything in the bed you drive. Oh, yep. Actually, I don't think it. The tires have nice tread, but the wheels are way bigger than the tires, and that just... What? This is... What are you talking about? Wheels? Yeah, that's the point, you ding-dong. I don't like it. Oh, doesn't like you. Like this, like this. You should get a Miata. Huh? You should get a Miata. Mazda? No. Honda. Oh, what the? That actually gets so far. Where did she go? Where is she going? Where are you going, Maddie? I don't have any spare change. For what? You're not homeless? No, I drove you here. You're homeless. I picked you up on the side of the road. You live with your mom. You're homeless. <laughs> I, I could say a whole bunch of stuff right now. How about you're not going to? I'm not going to because I respect you, Maddie. We just got back in the car and when we first got here i was like oh my god something's poking my purse and i thought it was like my little self-defense thing someone sent me like a little self-defense pokey thing like come on it's like a whole kit i need to message her and say thank you but it has this and i thought this was just coming through my purse and poking me because it's sharp it also has pepper spray we're gonna test it out right now no, yeah, thanks. <laughs> i was like trying to figure out what was poking me. My keys weren't in my bag. So I was like, okay, it must not be anything. It's probably just like makeup or something. There was an open pen in my bag the whole time, drying on my leg through my bag. I just freaking showered today. Finally. I don't usually do that. Finally. It's been three weeks. I know. It's been like four. <laughs> I'm at another car dealership now. I'm at another auto nation. So I have a lot of cars. <laughs> Yeah? Anything else? Okay, cool. Let's go. Whoa, where are you going? Cars. Cars, 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 cars. How did he just jump over that? That's as tall as me. Do you have something on your back? Yeah. Hey, yay, 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 yay. That should go just low. Can we put that in the vlog? Yeah. Okay. Um. Randy says he's not drunk, his sugar's just low. So, you know, he has type 1 diabetes. Oh, well, I have type 69. And whenever his sugar gets like super low, <laughs> he acts. What's the word for it? You act all loopy? Like, basically, yeah, that's, like a drug. That's, that's the right word, I think. And I just made him chug a sprite. So, it should be going back up. And I told him, let's go you sit down. You know, my grandpa used to work on those things up in the sky. The he clouds? Was a master electrician. Know that? He made clouds? No, the lights. Oh, well. You climbed to the very top. Basically, he's dying, but we're looking at cars. Oh, I'm not dying. Don't tell them that. Her sugar was just <gasps> like Free car. 70. Free car. Look. Oh, it's open? Brandy, get away from the car. You are not in the right mental state to go look at a car with an open door. Why not? Brandy? Avi said she needed a car. <laughs> we're at the used ones, and we're going to look at used cars. How do you know? Because do you see that Camaro right there? Yeah, it's mine. Yeah, it does dodge. Oh my gosh, dude, this looks like it's about to transform into like. Oh my god, I wonder how much it is. It doesn't have one of the little things that shows how much it is. Ooh, wait, I would drive that. Good. What? That Mazda? Yeah. Come here. 
I would drive that, <laughs> just to be honest. 2005 Mazda Tribute. Let's see, the price is on the other side. Ooh, rust. Oh, it's, it's only $4,000, Randy. Yeah? $4,000. Hold on, let me do some research. Yeah, let's How many miles does it car. have? How many miles? 200. Oh, it has 200,000 miles. I still like it though. He's running, he's running, what's he running from? What's he running from? I would drive this. It's like 9, an old Camaro. 9,000 bucks, 98. How many miles do you have? 165. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, he just hit the pole and I didn't even get on video. Run, Randy, run. Run away from all your pro- Okay. Randy, come back. Okay. They have a gums. <gasps> a forerunner. 27,000. I I don't want to buy a car for that much. I feel like that's too much. It's $4,000. It has a lot of issues. But it's $4,000 and it's cute. I think it's cute. Like a little boxy car. Looks like a like a shoe. Looks like a shoe on wheels. Oh my god, it's adorable. Randy, they leave the cars unlocked and Randy thinks he can just get in. I'm not getting this car because um, it's too expensive. It's literally damaged and it's still $26,000. But oh my God, look how cute that is. It's so cute. That is literally so cute. Let's take that boy for a test drive. Randy, no. It's the next day and we are at yet another car dealership. How? Oh. How are you doing? Everly, uh, you know the stroller I brought for you, right? iPad baby in the car dealership. iPad Mama, baby. Mama, Mama, itch this. Itch you? Okay. Are you okay now? Yeah. Are you an iPad baby? Um, uh-huh. That is a dot. My dad is a dot. Yeah. Full dot. Mm hmm It's rainbow dot. Okay. But this is a rainbow dot. Yeah. Nice. I'm not happy about this. Hey guys, day three of car shopping at a car dealership. So bougie, I don't know what to do with myself. But the price is amazing. So good. I actually wore pants that aren't sweatpants to car shop today. So they might take me a little bit more seriously here. Let's go look at cars. Usually when you go to a dealership, like you go outside and all the cars are on the cars and like you have to stop walking around. But here they like show you it all inside. And like bring you cars, but I like I asked. I'm like I, I'm gonna go look on the lot and see what y'all have. <laughs> I'm walking around now. Price aren't even on the cars, but it's a lot of nice cars. So hopefully I can find something. If you like watch me car shop, you know I like like the weird, bulky, pretty odd cars. Oh, this one's damaged on the front, but it's it's like uh, let's just describe it. It looks, I don't know, it's a huge, and it's a Nissan Pathfinder, and I think it's, I think it's really cool, but I don't know. <laughs> hey guys, it's now a few days later. It's the same day that I'm filming my intro to this video. So car shopping is really hard. I've talked about this before. Car shopping sucks. I saw so many cars that I loved, but the market for cars is just horrible right now. Like it's a seller's market because there's a copper chip shortage of some kind so it's like impossible to buy a car i went to one dealership actually the enterprise dealership and they were actually able to give me a pretty good apr not that good but for me good i was able to get approved with a pretty low down payment that was awesome but i wasn't too fond of the cars or the prices on them and they were rental cars so i didn't really know how to feel about that and then i decided to stop by this car dealership which had amazing deals and i even saw a car online that i wanted to buy it was like five thousand dollars i'm like oh my god i'm gonna buy this one 
and then I go in and I talk to the actual person at the dealership at first he was so sweet and then as soon as I mentioned something about my daughter he's like oh you have a daughter and then like his mood completely changed which yeah um <laughs> I told him what I wanted I said I want to stay under 20,000 preferably around 15 grand or under even like I want something cheap but reliable don't care the year prefer low mileage um just something cheap that I can just buy for cheap and eventually own before I get a new car he's like oh that's smart he brings me out some cars to look at and they're all over my price range and I told him oh this one's too small for me like I don't really like it and he's just like so visibly annoyed at this point because a lot of car dealerships they work off of um they profit from what they sell so it almost felt like he was trying to show me stuff that was more expensive so he would profit more and it started to really piss me off so i tell him i like this one to show him like a ten thousand dollar car and he tells me well to get approved by the bank um it needs to be a new car with low miles i'm like yes i understand that but if i were to get this i put a very large down payment if not buy it in cash and like this dude's visibly annoyed and he starts to try to mansplain to me how it works so i tell him i went here they were able to offer me this and this even with no credit history didn't have a co-signer at all because at this dealership i did have a co-signer they still were trying to cheap shot the heck out of me and sell me an expensive car that i didn't even want and they basically thought i was stupid and because whenever I would ask about something else, I'd be like, I could do a large down payment on this. And it finally got to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to consider this. I have a lot of other places to consider. I, I'm not going to decide on anything today. And I leave. And the manager comes out um, with the dealer and they start talking. He's like, no car today or something. like. And I guess that was like a kind of signal to try to like guilt me into buying a car. And I tell him like, I want something older that's cheaper. I don't care about the miles. Don't want something brand new that's out of my price range that I don't even like. Like I like that old Volkswagen out there with 90,000 miles from 2015. That's like 10 grand. And he was like, well, the bank's not gonna like that because with the bank, this is what you have to do because that one out there, that's gonna be reliable. And this one, do you know how the APR works? Do you know how the down payment works? And he's like, how much do you even have for a down payment? I say, sir, I have this watch in my bank account right now, but that's not all going towards a down payment. And this man stutters, he stutters. And he says, oh, I, I didn't know we were working with that kind of money. I'm sure we can find you something. Total change of tone, so nice now. And he's like, basically, oh, it just made me really mad. I felt like I was almost stereotyped as like a broke teen mom, just cause I wanted an old cheap car and I didn't want to buy like a freaking $20,000 Mazda with 90 grand miles just because it's a newer car and the bank's like that. It's just so crazy how people see you when they know how much money you have, how it's almost like a, it puts you higher than other people. If somebody thinks bad of you and you have money, it changes their perception of you, which I think is really messed up. But as soon as like I talked about being a mom and being young, like yeah, I'm 18, um, they were really judgmental. And then as soon as I say, I have this much to put down, and I don't want that. He's just showing me things I don't like. A total change, shift in how I was treated, which really messed up. That was my car shopping video. It didn't get anything. I have actually have some news about the car situation pretty soon here. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and my daughter, Everly, on this crazy journey of getting our own place and just all of the struggles that come with it. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.